Hello guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever for this uh, video, Monday video. Um, thank you so much, by the way, for the 5,000 subscribers. I really do promise there'll be a 5K special. I'm just trying to think of what to do uh, for that 5,000 special, but really does mean a lot. Um, you know, this channel's been going nearly three years now. I'd never expected that really, never ever. I never expected it to latch on as well as, well as it has done. So that really does mean a lot. Uh, long may that continue as well. Really, really do hope that does um, continue because this channel is all about giving the fans a voice, giving them the opportunity to express their emotions on the football club that we love at um, Barnsley FC. You saw my passion yesterday in the match review. That's been a long time since I've actually sort of lost it on camera. I was very disappointed with Saturday's performance at Portsmouth. Uh, I don't think I was the only one. But uh, I think it needed voicing, and uh, yeah, I voiced it, um, didn't I? Voiced it. Now, we're going to be talking a little bit about, obviously, Saturday's performance, upcoming games, um, and as well as transfers, uh, just having a little discussion. Now, I'm doing, you might notice I am filming in my kitchen. That ain't my calendar, by the way. No way on earth do I watch Friends. That's totally not my calendar. Um... We're going to be talking about, yeah, basically bits of everything. But I'm filming in the kitchen because it's just going to be a quick video um, for you guys. And uh, so, yeah, yeah. What I want to do, actually, is I want to set... Uh, I've been noticing, as well as reaching 5K, we've be also been in quite a, quite a few likes on the videos, which is fantastic. You know, the vlog reaching over 100, the match review reaching over 100. So I'd like to actually put into you guys a goal... You know, a goal, how many likes we can actually receive on this video. Maybe this one can reach another 100 likes. That would be fantastic. That would mean so, so much for the channel. 100 likes on this video would be fantastic, guys. We might have to start doing setting like like goals for videos. I've never actually done that. Never actually asked for that. Um, obviously, you might not like it. You might not like me. You might not like me. Sometimes I wake up and I don't like me when I look in the mirror. But, hey -o. So, that's the like goal, right, guys. 100 likes. That will mean the absolute world. As well as subscribing if you are not subscribed. Because, as I said, best YouTube channel in the world. Joking, 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 joking. But, it, no, seriously. Subscribe if you're not. Because, you know, we're really trying as best. And also hit the notification bell. Because that does help a lot. And we are so down to earth on here, um, you know, we talk, it's all off the cuff, uh, we give us view, everything that comes out of here is totally from up here, you know, odd bit of research, but majority comes out of here, which is, I can, I, I, yeah, that's quite good um, sometimes. So anyway, we saw Saturday, we lost at Portsmouth out of the FA Cup, it's just been on the FA Cup, I think we'd have had Port, uh, Bournemouth. Or Arsenal at home. So we would have had an home tie. If you look at it like that, it could have been a totally different... If you believe in that sort of stuff, it could have been totally different had we got through. We might not have got that. You never know. Um, but, as I said, the, the priority is the league. And we're out of the FA Cup. So we focus on the league. However, that FA Cup performance was shocking. It was abysmal. We've all said it. But let's move on to the league. Now, there's not long in this transfer window left. And I still believe there is players out there that we need to be looking at getting to help boost uh, our survival chances. Because we don't want to go down to League One again. No doubt about it. No doubt. It's not progression if we go back down. Not at all. Because I have a funny feeling that if we did and we managed to come up again, which will be even harder, that the players that helped get us up would be gone again. So we're back at square one. So we've got to stay in this league. We have. We've got to. Now, transfers, in terms of rumours today, was what I've seen is Richie Smallwood from Blackburn Rovers. Uh, 29 years of age, good championship uh, midfielder. Fallen out of favour slightly at Blackburn. Only made the odd appearance this season. Uh, he's a player I would have at the football club, if I'm honest. Played at uh, Middlesbrough, played at Rotherham, had a loan spell at Scunthorpe. Now at Blackburn, been there for since 2017. So... He's got the experience. I think he's the type of player. He, he's the perfect example of what I would take, you know. But there is other championship clubs looking to Tim Huddersfield is one. The only issue would probably be wages, maybe, and the fee, possibly. That is the that is the big, the only thing that could keep us out from getting that type of player. Now we have been, we have signed experience. We have Marcel Ritzmeier, Michael Solbauer. These are 
older players than what we usually do go for. Rich Myers almost 27, Saul Bauer's 29. Now we've only seen Saul Bauer once, and uh, yeah, we can see that performance wasn't the, it probably wasn't the debut we would have liked. Um, conceding four goals, you know, I know the, not all of them were his fault, but it's a nightmare debut for him. You can't. I don't think we can judge him on that one game. We've got a game, a couple of games. Now, in terms of Ritzmeyer, I'm yet to see the best of him yet. I thought he were very, very poor at Portsmouth. Ran the ball out of play a couple of times. He really needs to improve. So I've not seen anything on Ritzmeyer yet to actually spark me into life. And when I and I stick by my opinion in the match preview for Portsmouth when I said to Craig. He's not like in terms of what McGee, him and McGee, and we've got shut to one midfielder who was our midfielder from last season and brought in somebody who isn't necessarily up to now at the right, at the bill on par with each other pretty much. Um, I hope that changes and I, I really, really do for Rich Meyer's sake because obviously Struber's bringing these players in, they need to work for him. Uh, and I've every faith that they will. Now, we're bringing these players in, as I said, experienced, but. There's other fans, and maybe myself included, that there's that experience in an Austrian league. It's championship experience. Now, we know that costs money. It does. This league is like a second Premier League. But there is players out there that could be affordable at a, at a reasonable price. Now, last week of the transfer window, clubs, I, I get what I get, totally understand where Craig were coming from, where these clubs hold on to the place for the best price and when nobody buys them, they maybe have to lower it because they want them off the book wage bill before the end of the transfer window. So, and I, and I keep saying every faith in it, that we will bring some more players in, I think a striker is definitely needed. Um, maybe even another central defender. Midfielder, definitely. Uh, few fans now starting to question the diamond formation. Is it working, is it not? That's a big uh, debate that's also happening on forums, etc. So there's lots of things to talk about. But obviously in this video, I've just spoke about the little transfer news that I've heard. Richie Smallwood, I think he would be a really good signing for us. That bit of experience uh, in the midfield. You know, 29 years of age, that's not old for a footballer in my eyes. Um, give him a short-term contract if it did come to it. But when there's other clubs looking at him as well, that's always going to be tough uh, in terms of wages and stuff like that, whether they want to take a wage cut or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, let's hope that this week we see some play more players come in. It's a big week, one of the biggest games of the season coming up on Saturday, Charlton Athletic. Really looking forward to talking about it. Um, yeah, that that's all really, guys. That's all, other than a massive thank you once again for 5K. 5K. I've never ran that in my life either, 5k. So, uh, yeah, really does mean a lot. And, um, yeah, the sport's brilliant and it keeps the channel growing and it's what we want and, you know, ho hopefully that continues. But I would really, and I've said it before in these, like, special videos and I'll say it in a special video again, I just wish that it were like last season where we we're actually, the channel's doing well, but also so is Barnsley FC. That That's made the ultimate dream, <laughs> really. Because we travel the length of the country, week in, week out, and uh, yeah, we just want to see him do well. So thank you for watching, guys. Remember, 100 likes on this video. Let's stick with that. 100 likes. That's the goal. Keep it coming. And uh, yeah, thank just once again, guys, really, really thank you. You're absolutely fantastic. Love you all. And I'll see you tomorrow in uh, tomorrow's video because I'm sure there'll be something to talk about, won't there? Up the Reds. See you later, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe to Tykes TV. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. And we'll see you in the next one. You Reds. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe to Tykes TV. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. And we'll see you in the next one. You Reds.